Hello folks, this is Tom with Edwards Yacht Sales and today I'm looking at a 1993 Endeavor Cat. It is a 30 foot boat. Uh, it has a mast height or bridge clearance if you will of 47 feet. The beam on this vessel is uh, 14 feet 3 inches and the draft is 2.83 feet. You can see it has a kill on either hull. The bulge in the middle here is to cut down on slapping if you're in heavy water. This vessel uh, does have uh, new bottom paint just uh, finished being applied yesterday. And it's nice and shiny along the sides. And uh, I don't list many of these, and this is uh, quite a unique little vessel. Um, it does have an outboard on it, which uh, most of the sailboats that I list are diesel, but actually this is a stroke of genius. Uh, the vessel carries 75 gallons of fuel, and uh, you can get an outboard motor worked on anywhere in the world. And worse comes to worse, if the thing goes haywire on you, then take it off and throw you another one on there. This one's a 40 horsepower, but you don't have to put a 40 horsepower back on there if you don't want. Um, you can go with lighter. This thing's very hydrodynamic. It moves through the water very easily. This, uh, uh, where the motor is mounted, this unit right here actually has hydraulics in it. It will go up and down, and it has hydraulics in the motor that goes up and down as well. It's a very clever design. And I did notice that the fiberglass work on this one is excellent. When you get up onto the decks, it doesn't have any of that uh, spider cracks, cracking. The fiberglass looks to be very high quality. The overall length with this uh, boat davit on the back, which is one heck of a boat davit, is uh, 35 feet. has a wind generator up there. And uh, here's the paint. Don't let me get you dizzy there. Here's the paint that was used. It's a Pettit product, uh, an ablative anti fouling paint. Let's uh, go on board. Now keep in mind the boat is in the yard right now. It's a little dirtier than it normally would be. Uh, if you're looking for an open transom, which a lot of folks are nowadays if they're looking for a mono hull, both the hulls have these steps going right down to the water and you can see there's a ladder down there. Uh, if you're doing any diving, if you have pets and stuff, easy to get on and off, fairly easy to get on and off for a dog. Let's take a uh, look around this one here. Uh, let's do a quickie around the decks here. This canvas was in storage. So the boat didn't have canvas on it when I first saw it. And the gentleman that owns the boat just brought the canvas out. This has a full enclosure. It's not all up here. Um, it actually completely encloses this all the way back to the stern. Uh, but this canvas which is fairly expensive if you've ever checked into it, is in excellent condition. Uh, he had the uh, sails wrapped in a cheap tarp and had this sail cover stored as well. And it's in excellent condition also. This doesn't have your normal Isinglass in it. This stuff is very thick. Uh, I forget what the name of it is, but it's very thick. It's not your usual thin icing glass, and it's uh, clear as glass, just about. Let's get on back here. You do have one solar panel up there with control box. Uh, the dinghy is down there. It's a hard bottom dinghy. It's over nine feet long. Uh, no motor will go with this boat, but the dinghy is pretty doggone nice. Take a walk up forward. You can see the decks here, they have a molded in non skid on them. And it's, uh, they used a high quality material when they laid this up because this stuff has held up really, really well. 
Now it doesn't have an anchor windlass right now. Uh, it does have a roller furling jib and lazy jacks on your uh, mainsail to keep the sail in line when you drop it. It's a self-tacking type boat. All you have to do is throw the wheel over. That contraption there is a, a boom brake. And we'll go on around. Right now we have a plow type anchor rigged on here. It's just a pretty cool little boat. Uh, you know, if you're in uh, monohull territory as far as uh, your budget goes, you can buy one of these. Uh, catamarans are usually very expensive. Uh, but this one fits nicely in there, and the price is right. Let's look at the cockpit. Now I got this uh, your control station covered up right now, but I have very well-defined pictures of all this equipment in my regular advertising, which would be on Yacht World, Edwards Yacht Sales, but the. Uh, cockpit is big and roomy. I mean roomy. Plenty of room back here. It's got a nice little table right here if you can see my hand. It flips up. It comes out to about here. The hatch is humongous as you can see. All your lit lines are lead in here. starboard and you have these nice little storage bins to stow your lines in. Now let's go on down inside and I hope we have enough light down here. And here we go. There we go. All right. So it's actually quite attractive. It's got a U-shaped uh, dinette settee. It has these barrel chairs here which are on a swivel. No odd smells or anything even near approaching that. Let me turn around here and do a 180 and get to where I came from. Now keep in mind this is in the yard. The fuel tanks were cleaned just today. The tank cleaner just left a little while ago. So uh, there are some things laying around the boat now uh, because we are there at the yard right now. Here's your panel. That's the 110 volt, 12 volt, and here's your galley. Pretty cool, huh? It's a propane oven, and it's got a two burner cooktop here. Let me see if I can do this without everything going everywhere. Yeah. Plenty of uh, stowage. This is another reefer right here. It's on right now. Uh, besides the uh, little refrigerator, it's up forward. I just love these springs that lock these things open. That's nothing but a spring here, and you know, so you have to do that, and then it collapses. But if you raise it, it's uh, and, and I know you, I get. I get like this over the simplest things. You know somebody had to invent that by accident though. There's your mask coming on in. So it is not deck stepped. And uh, right back in here is uh, one of your state rooms. It's got plenty of storage back here. Plenty of room for two people back here unless you're really big. And no, I'm not insinuating anything. Okay, nice skylight over there above you. Now, he's got some things stored in the other one on the uh, starboard side. This is the port side, but it is the mirror image of this. Here's a hang-up closet here, and it's kind of cool. It's uh, cedar lined. There you go. Check it out. And uh, Very livable. Very livable. This thing is just all right. I kind of like it if you can't tell already. 
And uh, yeah, it's vacuum cleaner and stuff. Uh, uh, there's another refrigerator right here. This one is 110 volts. Uh, so you have to run off an inverter or uh, to run this one while you're underway. Uh, microwave. But the other one you don't. It's 12 volt. But this one will come in handy when you're in uh, import. There's more storage right there now. Check out this bathroom. I kind of approached this thing with a whole home attitude, and after I looked at this boat, I said, man, this is quite, <laughs> quite more than I thought it would be. I like it. Uh, look at the shower. I mean, it's huge. There's a, big, there's a seat in there. I know if you can, you know, in this uh, video, if you can get the scale of it, but believe me, uh, biggest man I know will get in there and just, uh, have plenty of room. Electric toilet. And, uh, you know, this whole side right here is uh, a good portion of it. It's dedicated, nice big mirror. It's dedicated to this uh, bathroom. Here's your storage right here. And this is uh, kind of stiff. It's open, but uh, stereo inside there. And my wife would probably put towels and stuff in there. Uh, here's the mirror image um, stateroom on the the other side, uh, and it's not bad, but it did have a few things in it, and uh, I'll show that to you anyway. Anyway, so uh, that is pretty much it. It's quite an excellent little boat, and is amazing for a 30 footer. And I don't know if I said so, but with this uh, Davidon here, which is quite a robust. Davit. I mean, that's, that's nice. Uh, with that on the back, we're, we're about 35 to 36 feet long. Anyway, I was pretty impressed with this little boat. Uh, I have uh, over 100 pictures on my regular advertising, and I put every scrap of information that I can find about these vessels into my advertising so that you'll know before you come down. Uh, you can talk to me about this vessel. I'm quite frank about the vessels that I list, and I'm pretty impressed with this one. This material, this Isinglass up here, you can see how... I don't know if you can see how clear that is. I can, but you can't. But it's clear as a bell. I have some pictures of that as well. Anyway, this is Tom with Edwards Yacht Sales. Uh, we advertise on about, uh, oh, I guess close to 70 websites now. And we advertise on in hard print in a lot of your nautical magazines, Florida Mariner, so on and so forth. Can't remember what they all are. But give me a shout if you're interested in this boat. I'll be glad to talk to you about her and uh, Bring you on down here, we'll take a look. Uh, pretty soon this vessel is going to be moved from the yard here. I'm in Placida, Florida now, and it'll be moved uh, right over to Punta Gorda, which is not far away. Anyway, thank you for coming, and have a great day. Bye-bye now.